sitting here writing the next chapter for our book, Transmute Trauma, Discover Who You Truly Are. And I'm just blown away by my own story. <sighs> just how incredible my life's journey has been. How devastating the impact of trauma has been. The complexity of how much trauma I have lived through. So my chapter is all about learned helplessness, how I discovered that I had learned a behaviour called learned helplessness, which basically means that I can get stuck very easily. I give up. In the past, I've given up easily because I've learned this behaviour called learned helplessness. So. As I've been journaling, I've been writing out, okay, how did I learn to become helpless? How did I learn to play victim? How did I learn to constantly sabotage my success? How did I learn to play small? How did I learn to stay silent, not have a voice, feel ashamed, not good enough, not smart enough? not anything enough. So I've just been writing the chapter. Oh my God, it's when you write to heal, when you write to heal trauma, to share your story with other people, it is so potent. Because what happens is when you're writing, you start to make these connections between your lived experience of trauma that you hadn't necessarily made before because you're not reliving it. You, it will feel emotional, it will feel heavy, it will feel powerful to write about. But when you start to put it in, a, I guess, a chronological order, because you, when you're writing, you have to have one step before the other, before the other, before the other. So your story has a very clear a beginning, a middle and end so people can understand what it is that you want them to know, is that once you start putting your story in that order, it becomes very easy for you to connect the dots between experiences. And what often happens with me, with the other authors that I work with, is they will get these insights that they never had before because they haven't allowed themselves to necessarily express this could actually be for the first time to express what it is the experience it is that, that they have had so I've just been sitting here and just um, gobsmacked by how I learned the behavior learned helplessness it's quite shocking the story is quite shocking I need to be careful with my story because a lot of people find it, I can't remember the word, that harrowing. I need to be careful <laughs> I don't make this story too harrowing. I don't want it to be harrowing. No one wants... Yes, I want people to understand the essence of the story, but I don't want to leave them feeling harrowed. Harrowing. Harrowed? I'm not even sure that's a word. But it's incredible to see the dots, to see the connection, to see the story, to see how one thing leads to the other, to see how your experiences of trauma shape your life. And they will continue shaping your life until you are able to process and see things from a new perspective, a more up-to-date perspective, an understanding of the here and now rather than um, behaving through your trauma because you have it, the brain hasn't processed it and the body, there's been no connection between the mind and the body to help you release the energetic charge of it. I'm absolutely blown away by this story. 
I, I actually feel like crying. It's it's don't do it. I can feel the tears coming, Miss Kia. Don't do it. It is really, really powerful. Really. Here's the thing. I know I've got tears in my eyes. Here's the thing. When I'm writing, I don't feel like I'm reliving the trauma. I don't feel traumatized. I don't feel that I'm reliving the horrific experience it is that I went through. Yes, I feel a synergy and a closeness to it. But what happens is, is as I'm writing, my brain is processing what's happening. That lets go of the emotional charge and the connection, the negative connection I've had with that event for a lifetime. Um, so it's really healing. It's really therapeutic because, you know, it's, it's like the book. You can see a beginning, a middle and an end to the story. It's not you can process it in a way that you gain a new understanding, you gain a new perspective, you gain new insight. It's a really healthy way to process what it is that you have been through. It's so powerful. I cannot, you know, this is stuff that would take you in talking therapy years to get your head around i think because you're having an honest conversation with yourself is that you're more honest you're more open you can get to the places that you need to get to uh, much more much more quickly i can't remember because i can't see it what the title of my talk was because it's disappeared off my screen which is really annoying but i think what I said is, why aren't you talking about your story of trauma? Some, something like, oh, yeah. Why are you not sharing your story? I get why you're not sharing your story. I really do. When you learn to be become helpless, when you learn that there is no way out, no one believes you, you don't want to set other people, you're frightened of re-traumatizing yourself, God, there are so many things, even, I don't know why I'm saying God, I'm not religious, even um, your ego is designed to keep you safe, it's designed to keep you out of harm's way, so every instinct that you've got is probably going against you in terms of saying, you can't share this, but the most empowering thing you can do for yourself and especially if you are working in personal development and with clients that have similar issues, is that you need to be sharing snippets of your story. You need to be writing your story out because ultimately that is what people are going to be attracted to. But I absolutely get it. There is a lot of internal and psychological resistance to writing a story that is particularly to do with trauma because it's very it's really personal it's really really personal but what is more empowering not sharing it and holding on to it and letting it eat you up from the inside out or is it healthier to explore it to get it down create a new perspective empower yourself through the story, new learning, new insight, which, which is the best, which is in your best interest. Fear is always going to keep you playing small. I'm a big believer now in opening the door to new possibilities and opportunities. And I posted this in a group earlier on because I absolutely believe this is that our beliefs create an illusion of the world it is that we want to live in. But it is actually an illusion 
we create and see the world through based on our past experiences. When you're dealing with trauma, what you want to do is move into as much as possible into the here and now, rather than living your life through the trauma it is that you experienced in the past. Storytelling is an absolutely brilliant way to do this. I should really do a, a challenge around storytelling, but I've got another one coming up first, so I want to do that one first. And that one is going to help women to bring together a chapter. Well, it's similar, actually, it's the same thing. What am I going on about? The difference is, is that they will have a manuscript in their hands at the end of the event so they know exactly what they're writing about and what story it is that they are sharing. But I do get it. I know the the um, title, what I've written here, is a bit, why are you not sharing your story? <laughs> I know why you're not sharing your story. Because fear, resistance, the unknown. I don't know what to talk about. I'm scared to be visible. Uh, there's lots of lots of things that will play out. But I wanted to um, share this with you because I'm just completely blown away by my own story and how powerful it is and how freaking lucky I am to have discovered that I have even learnt, learnt helplessness. That is, it has been such a massive shift in my life. I cannot, I cannot tell you. And I wouldn't have discovered that if I hadn't spent time journaling. I journal, I write, I journal and I write a lot. And I journal and I write a lot because that helps me stay conscious in the now, present, rather than um, just doing things on automatic pilot. Of course, I still do a lot of things on automatic pilot, but when it comes to trauma responses, when it comes to learned behavior, I want to try and stay as fully present as I possibly can. This new book is gonna be really, really powerful. Transmute trauma, discover who you truly are because we're going to have to share with you how we have overcome trauma in our lives, how we've been able to discover it, understand the story, and yet navigate through the complexity of that trauma to be able to come out the other side and learn to recover and heal and learn to be able to think differently, to ultimately healthier happier more loving more connective lives with who it is that we want to be connected to i cannot wait for this book to come out i am honestly i'm blown i'm blown away by my own writing <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm going to leave the link below so you can um, get hooked up, signed up for the four day immersion where you're going to have, I'm going to teach you how you can actually identify your own story, which is the best story for you to share and how to shape it, how to bring it together. So I'll pop, I'll pop the link below, but whatever you're doing on this Saturday, I'm still going to write, I think, for another couple of hours because I'm on a roll. Then I'm going to go for a massage. But whatever you're doing today, more importantly, have an awesome day.